Hi everyone, welcome to Alania. Subscribe now. The Alonia Pirate Boat Trip is something I tried last year. The good thing about this tour is that I got the chance to do a mini tour over the Mediterranean Sea. In addition to this, I got to see some really impressive caves. The ship is designed like a pirate ship, so you can only imagine how intrigued one can be by this. It's well worth going on this ride because you get a chance to see the walls of the ancient fortress as well as the Red Tower. Thereafter, you get to see the pirate cave, which locals say was inhabited by real pirates and where they hid their treasure. During the tour, the staff are dressed like pirates and you get to see one guy jump from a very tall cliff into the sea, which is quite a spectacle. Sultan Aladdin Kekobat, and for those who are fans of Delish Arturo, uh, would remember that he is the uh, Seljuk Sultan, or he was the Seljuk Sultan, and uh, he conquered a castle right up here. So the distance that you would have seen on the video um, that we took to come up on the cable cars, he came up here with his army and he uh, conquered the castle which you can see over there. Okay, so we're gonna go up there uh, right now and see um, and show you exactly how he actually looks like. Okay, so this is the uh, castle that Sultan Aladdin uh, conquered. So let's go inside. Let's check out the entrance and what's inside. So there's many steps to come up here. Very, very steep. Look at that. Camera can't do justice to this. I hope that we can do our best to, you know, bring this coverage to you. I'm just in contemplation how Sultan Aladdin would have come up here.
Now this red fort was built in the year 1226. Imagine, 796 years before, by Sultan Aladdin Kekobad, who was the Seljuk Sultan. Okay, so this red fort is conveniently positioned because as you can see behind me, uh, you can see the castle. So that's Alanya Castle. And so this was made in the year 1226. The architect of this red fort was from Aleppo. Now, this red fort is positioned in a very good spot because those that were on the lookout and they had that responsibility were able to see if there were any enemies that were coming onto the harbour. So this is a very convenient position for them to have built this red fort at as a defence to protect the castle that is behind me. So remember the wars that were fought back in the days, not just about being strong, but also the plan, the mastermind, having a strategy, uh, that was what really got them to win these wars and these uh, battles and skirmishes that they would have. You can find many amazing restaurants cooking up some of the most freshest and best produce that grows here in Alanya. One unique restaurant we recommend visiting is Gol Picnic in the Dimchai area. This is a famous mountainside restaurant with delicious dishes. We chose the Sak Kavurma, cheesy mushrooms, chip, eggplant and yogurt salads. In the summer months, you can enjoy a meal outside in canopies surrounded by the water and play in the water park. After visiting the restaurant, you can visit the nearby Dimchai Caves, lakes and enjoy the scenic views. Cleopatra Beach is one of Turkey's most famous beaches and that's saying something considering how many beaches Turkey is blessed with. The sand for me is among the most clean and softest you'll find in the entire country. It has a distinct white color to it. The beach is famous for its crystal clear water and has a legendary reputation among the beaches in Turkey. This beach was named after the Egyptian queen Cleopatra since it is believed that Cleopatra swam here. All right, so today I come to you from Manavgat, which is uh, located here in uh, Antalya, the province of Antalya, there's 81 provinces in Turkey. So we've come over here today, and we took a bus from Alanya, which took us about an hour and 25 minutes to get over here. And uh, if you can see behind me, over here, this is why um, people come here to Manavgat, because uh, of this waterfall. This is um, the most famous waterfall here in this uh, region. Now it was, it was really hot, you know, in Alanya. I was actually um, sat on the bus and it was like really, really, really hot. Like um, I needed to just get out and, you know, walk into the fresh air. And when I walked over here, uh, I just felt, I, I won't say it was cold or anything like that, but there was just like this freshness, this, this, um, this fresh breeze that I felt. Um, even the air, it was just so fresh, so refreshing, so rejuvenating, so revitalizing that um, it took away the fatigue, it took away the exhaustion. And, uh, and on top of that, you know, you've got this marvelous view. So um, that combined, it was just well worth coming over here. All right, for a significant period of time in history, this shipyard, which consists of five divisions, was repairing ships. It was building ships as well. And the equipment that is used on ships, um, those things were being repaired and built as well. And as you can see, this is one of the five divisions over here at the shipyard. And it's got many of these tools. And the great thing about these tools, as you can see over here, look at that, traditional, wooden. It's not something that you will see in modern day ships or modern day boats. So you get that feeling of, of past times. You get that feeling of nostalgia. 
you get that feeling of going back four, five hundred years ago. Um, and this has probably been here for longer than that. Now over here, over here you see these um, axes over here. So they've used all of these traditional equipments here, these, these old nails that they've used, hammers, um, this, the saw, it's all over here, all wooden. And it's incredible. It just takes you to a time that you read in history and that you sometimes watch in some of these Turkish historical shows. And it's also conveniently positioned near the sea where many people benefited um, from the endeavors that would take place in the shipyard over here. Okay guys, so today we are here at Sapadera Canyon, which is based here in Alanya. And to get inside over here, it costs only about 15 liras per person, which is very reasonable. I really want to stress and emphasize how great an experience it was to drive to this location, because it's something that you rarely see, the beauty that we saw uh, driving up here. So, at the end of it, the result is coming over here, where we're surrounded by these huge mountains. And we have the stream beneath us. We obviously put our hand into it and it was um, ice cold. And the air over here is so fresh. And it's definitely one of those experiences that you are going to remember for the rest of your life. So I highly recommend people to come over here to Sapadere Canyon. If you are into long walks, you're in luck, as the Alanya Lighthouse is worth a visit. The lighthouse really stands out among other important sites in Alanya, and it's a wonderful place to go to if you want to take memorable photos, as well as have one of those days that are light in intensity. The lighthouse has served sailors for many generations, showing them the way for over a hundred years. The walkway from the harbour towards the lighthouse is extremely scenic, surrounded by the turquoise Mediterranean waters, the Taurus mountains and the historic Red Tower. You'll find many people taking pictures by this iconic lighthouse and it is especially mesmerizing during the sunset. Recently I was at the lighthouse with two of my friends and we all agreed that the lighthouse is an amazing spot to have deep chats at whilst looking at the surroundings in the form of the sea, the Red Fort and Alanya city. Kaprulu Canyon is based in Side, which is two hours away from Alanya, and it's a trip you must take if you're in Alanya. Recently, me and my friends went to Kaprulu Canyon and we started the day by spending an hour of our time white water rafting. 
On the way to Coprolo Canyon, we came across a company that drives you to the white water raft in place and you have an instructor guiding the activity. We found it super fun, especially when the rapids intensified. You also get the opportunity to swim inside the stream. My friend said it was super freezing, but that added to the fun of it. After we completed rafting, we opted to drive dune buggies and we really enjoyed this activity. We got to drive on tracks that went through a forest full of trees and the views were just second to none. There's also an opportunity to see the famous canyons in this location, but we had run out of time on the day. But something I really look forward to to go to. You can take a taxi, book a tour or hire a car to go to Coprolo Canyon. Do you consider yourself a helpful person? If so, hit that like button and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you found value from this video, perhaps consider giving a super thanks or at least commenting what you enjoyed about this video. If you are into Ottoman rings, be sure to check it out in the link in the description box. Catch you in the next one.